Hey kiddos, welcome back. Uh, we're continuing to talk, to talk about the atomic theory, and today we're going to talk about electron dot pictures. This is just a very simple way to show the valence electrons and how they're organized around a particular atom. So I think the best way to teach this is just to sort of dive right into it and after two or three of these, I hope that you'll pick it up. But we're going to end up doing about 30 or 40 of these total. And at that time, I think it'll be, hopefully, busy work. So if I take the element hydrogen, it is atomic number one, kiddos. So it only has one electron. It's also in group number one, isn't it? How many valence electrons does it have? Well, it only has one electron. So that must be in its outer energy level. So it has one valence electron. Now, if I were to draw the orbital diagram for hydrogen, we'd have the nucleus here, and we'd have the first energy level with one electron there. Well, with a dot picture, we represent the nucleus with the symbol for the element, hydrogen. And we represent the valence electron with a dot. So I'm going to put a dot right there. We call this the dot picture for the hydrogen atom. Now, in reality, it doesn't make a difference where I put that dot. If I wanted to put the dot over here, that would be fine. If I wanted to put the dot up here, that would be fine also. However, traditionally, it's drawn on the right side um, of hydrogen, or that's where we usually begin drawing the dots in our dot picture. But any of those would be sufficient. OK, let's take helium. Helium is atomic number two. It has two total electrons. It has two valence electrons. If I were to draw its orbital diagram with its nucleus, I would have one energy level with two electrons in it. So its dot picture would have two dots in it. And it turns out, for reasons we're not going to discuss at this level, that those first two electrons are what we call paired. So helium has a pair of valence electrons. Now, once again, we could draw that pair of electrons down here if we wanted to. It really doesn't make a difference, but traditionally, we begin on the right-hand side. OK, let's move on to lithium. Lithium, kiddos, if you look at your periodic table, has an atomic number of three. So it has three electrons. Now, how many valence electrons does it have? Well, let's see, it's in group number one, so we know it has one. But let's draw the orbital diagram just to verify that. Here's the nucleus. Can't I have two electrons in the first energy level and one in the second energy level? The highest energy level is the second energy level, and there's one electron there. So it has one valence electron. So the dot picture for lithium has one dot, showing it's one valence electron. Let's move on to the element beryllium. Beryllium is atomic number four, so it has four total electrons. It's in group number two, so we know it has two valence electrons, but let's go ahead and verify that with the orbital diagram. In the first energy level for beryllium, we can have two electrons. In the second energy level, we can hold up to eight, but beryllium only has two more to put in there. So you can see that it has two valence electrons, doesn't it? So the dot picture for beryllium would have two electrons. Remember, the first two electrons are what we call paired. All right, moving right along. Boron is atomic number five. It has five electrons. It's in group number 13, so we know it's going to have three valence electrons, but let's go ahead and verify that with its orbital diagram. If I drew the nucleus for boron, the first energy level would have two electrons. It has five total, remember. So that means the second energy level, which can hold up to eight, will have three valence electrons. So the dot picture for boron will have three dots in it. So we're going to draw the symbol for boron. The first two are paired. And then the third one is what we call an unpaired electron. And I'm just going to draw it right up there. Now, if you wanted to, you could draw a pair here and that unpaired down there, it really doesn't make a difference. This is generally how you will see it drawn, though. Remember, the number of dots have to equal the number of valence electrons. OK, carbon. Carbon is atomic number six, so it has six electrons. Let's draw its um, orbital diagram. This will be the last one we draw. And from then on, we'll 
just look at the last digit in the group number to determine valence electrons instead of continually drawing these orbital diagrams. So if I have the nucleus for carbon, the first energy level can have two electrons. And we have four more, and they can easily fit in the second energy level. So we see that carbon has four valence electrons. It's also in group 14. So the dot picture for carbon is the symbol for carbon. Now the first two are paired. And then the others go in one at a time, one on the top and one on the left, until they're forced to pair. Now what does that mean, until they're forced to pair? Well, if I have my symbol for the element here, you'll notice that there are going to be four sides that I'm going to be adding electrons to. Each of these sides in my dot picture can hold up to two electrons. So remember, the first two are paired, and then they go in one at a time in these other orbitals until they are forced to pair. So if I take a look at my element X up here, if I put the first two electrons here, and let's say it has three valence electrons, I'll put the third there. The fourth would go there. It's not going to pair up yet. And it's for reasons we don't discuss right now in this class. The fifth valence electron would go here. The sixth would go here. The seventh would go here. And we can fit up to eight dots in our dot picture. Okay? So let's move on, and you'll see what I mean as we... Uh, do more of these examples. Nitrogen's atomic number is seven. It has seven electrons. It's in group 15, so it has five valence. So its dot picture has a pair. And then the other three are what we call unpaired electrons. So that's my dot picture for nitrogen. Five electrons, two of them are paired, and three are unpaired. Oxygen, atomic number eight. It has eight total electrons, and it's in group 16, so it has six valence electrons. If I drew its dot picture, the first two of the valence are paired. Then we'll go three, four, five, six. So you can see in oxygen's dot picture, it has two pairs of electrons and two that are unpaired. Fluorine, atomic number nine. It has nine total electrons. It's in group 17, so seven valence. And so the dot picture for fluorine would have seven dots. The first two are paired. Then we'll go three, four, five, six, and seven. So fluorine is what we have, is what we call, it has three pairs of electrons. See, one, two, three, and one electron in its valence level that's unpaired. Okay? Let's try just a couple more, and then we'll uh, take a break for the day. Let's do neon, okay? So neon is atomic number 10. It has 10 electrons. It's in group number 18. It has eight valence electrons. Would you like me to draw its orbital diagram for you just to prove that to you? Here's the nucleus of neon. Can't the first energy level hold two electrons? And the second energy level can hold up to 8. So 2 plus 8 equals my 10. And we can see it has 8 valence electrons. So when I draw the dot picture for neon, it's going to have 8 valence electrons, 8 dots. The first two are paired. Then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now notice neon. Isn't that pretty? It has 8 valence electrons or what we like to say is four pairs of valence electrons. Everything's all paired up. Now, you might be worried about the next element because I'm running out of sides. I have four sides to each element when I draw my dots. What am I going to do with sodium? Because it has 11 electrons, doesn't it? How many valence does it have? Well, it's in group number one, so we know it has one valence. Should we draw its orbital diagram just to verify that? Two in the first. Can hold up to eight in the second. No more than that. And then the third is the valence level for sodium. I start a new energy level when I get to sodium. Notice that sodium is on the third row of the periodic table. It also has three energy levels. Notice it's in the first column of the periodic table. It has one valence electron. So when I draw the dot picture for sodium, I just have one dot, and I start all over again.
Okay? All right. I think that's good enough for now. We'll continue with more examples with our next video. See you soon. Bye-bye.